Hey folks, morning. Uh, it's Tuesday, I think it's the 16th, I think. Yeah, um, woke up this morning, had a plan to go sit on a high stand that I sat in. I've only sat there once so far and I wanted to get out there again, but as soon as I got outside to where the truck was, the wind was just blowing. It was 33 degrees, so I'm not going to be sitting in the stand. I can't, my feet and everything. Well, the wind's blowing like that. So I decided to come back up to KI where I hunted the first day. Um, Cause you know, you're, it's pretty thick woods in here and you're blocked out of the wind a lot. I am in the mountains and uh, I'll show you what we got going on here. But uh, I'm gonna give it a try. I know a lot of people don't think hunting from a truck's hunting, but far out in the woods as I am right here, you're in the woods quite a ways, and this is a pretty secluded area, and being disabled, sometimes you you don't have a lot of options. <laughs> so, here's where I am. Better than sitting at home. snow here it's 28 up here and there's snow in a lot of places uh, once you get up into the high area so that's what I'm watching today at GoPro just in case I do see something I can have that film in so I don't have to try and video with this with this camera if I get to aim something but we'll see hope that wind dies down but I don't know they said it could be gusting up to 25 miles an hour today that is not good, but much we can do about that. I'm in the woods, I love being out here. I love the snow. It's just, it's awesome. Hopefully, something shows up. Getting a little snow. Let's get some squirrels running across and some birds flying way across. Boom. Yards down. That's it so far. Very behind me. And the winds. The winds are blowing across in this direction over here, so if I get right in there, it's gonna affect me, but it shouldn't affect way down there. switch to my other hat. Ball cap style hats are like a good if you're in the thick woods and it's quiet and you're trying to hear. So these ones sort of cover my ears a little bit. But they're uh can't hear quite as well but I don't need to worry too much about hearing. Just visual range here but these ones hold hold your heat in your head a lot better. So I switch that's why if you see me in these videos of one hat to another, I wonder what's going on. That's why I do that. Yeah, this area is my plan C for today. I was gonna go uh, debating on two different tree stands closer to home, but when I got outside and the wind was blowing like this, and it was cold as it was. So you know, I'm not sitting in a tree stand in this kind of weather. I don't know if it's very good with that wind blowing so much. The animals probably don't want to move around much. I figured way out here in this deep woods, 
I mean, I'm a good 12, probably 12 miles from the gate, 6 miles from the tower from there. So almost 20, 18 miles in the woods. And this is a old tote road off of a tote road, so. And as you can see down range there, I mean, there's not a lot of, you know, not a lot of um, open area, so a lot of the wind's blocked through here, and this is the back side of a mountain. So sometimes on these mountains like that, you're on one side and you hardly get any wind. So I thought this would probably be the best thing on a windy day like today. Snow is a little bonus. It's almost nine o'clock, getting there. It's about quarter to nine right now, so I've got plenty of time. We'll see. Well, that wind being as loud as it is, hide, hide me on uh, my sound driving in here too, a little bit plus the snow. So, all I can do is try, right? See a lot of other people uh, on Facebook posting getting a lot of deer this year, nice deer. Some of them I can't believe they shot in Maine, some huge racks. I'm gonna post a shout out to Maine girl, say hey to you. Uh, like watching her videos. It's got some pretty interesting things on there. Everybody check her out. And also, um, what else we got? Some bird just flew by. Um, who knows? So another website, uh, YouTube channel I like to watch is uh, East Grand Woodsman. He's got a lot of interesting things on his channel too. Um, building small cabins and he knows how to start a fire with practically nothing. <laughs> he's really good at that stuff. Now he's getting into trapping and anybody's into trapping. Uh, pretty interesting channel to watch too, so you guys check them guys out. If you kind of like this kind of stuff anyway. Nice that wind would calm down. We'll keep watching. Talking with my brother. He says I should probably try and get some of those electric heated socks. Hey, you guys have any experience with those kind of things? The electric heated socks. See, they have some that are rechargeable. My problem is I just need to know where that battery goes because I have to wear plastic AFO braces that go just below my knee all the way down to the bottom of my toes. So I, I need to know how that battery... I mean, obviously, they must have a battery to keep the charge. Where do you put the battery? Because it can't fit it, you know, can't be in the sock because it'll be between the sock and my brace. Well, it has a wire that hangs out and you attach it to your boot or something. I don't know. I've never, you know, I see advertisements for stuff, you know, like that, but they never show you how that stuff works. That's so, I don't know, but I think that would be the best idea for me that way I could wear a lighter boot and then also have, um, you know, a heated sock for the coldest part of the time. Um, problem is they're like a hundred dollars or more so practically the same price as a and a good boot or not a good boot but a mediocre boot i guess but you know is it worth buying a heated sock or just buy a more expensive boot i don't know any of you guys have any experience with that let me know in the comments i appreciate it I'm trying to do everything i can to be able to stay out in the outdoors as much as i can well i can my body starts falling apart to the point where I won't be able to even do that. Just had a doctor's pump yesterday and got fitted for new braces, so that may help me a lot. On my feet, hopefully. We'll see. That wind still is howling. I'm not sure anything's going to be moving in this wind and uh, I don't know. I'm 
deep enough in the woods so they feel secure enough. I don't know, but I haven't seen anything out here. It's kind of discouraging because when I used to come out here, it used to be animals crossing all the time. So I don't know if it's one of those situations where there was, was a lot of coyotes out here too, so the coyote, coyotes may have run out the deer. Now the deer don't realize that the coyotes aren't here anymore, so eventually they'll move back in, feed again and stuff, and then the coyotes will come back, so who knows? In like two years I couldn't come up in here because it was all grown up. We'll see, I guess. Day set. A long way to get out here. A lot of fuel will get here, so can't be any half day hunt. Glad I ain't in a tree stand today. Oh man. Well, the woman's just gotten all day. We got two hours left. Got the uh, windows rolled up. And the truck running just for a little bit to warm me up. We uh, roll them back down for the last two hours. The wind hasn't let up, so that's not helping. Let's see over here. Here's what it is. Hopefully, two hours left. We'll see what happens. Up a lot and get to think about a lot of things, contemplate things you've done, things you should have did. And it makes you really, you get kind of grounded when you get deer season's over. Your mind's kind of clear and your conscience is clean, or at least you thought about everything and know where you came from. Kind of a cleansing, I guess. Spitting snow all day, off and on. Some come out for just a few minutes, and then it was that spitting snow again. It's more like a sleet, actually. I don't know. Try something else tomorrow. Down in the last 45 minutes or so right now. Cold in the day. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again. Close to a thousand subscribers, and that's an hour away finally. It's taking quite a while.
Well, it's another day. Uh, a long ride out of here. Cold and windy. It says 34 out, but that wind, it makes it a lot colder. But, gave him the best shot. Well, we'll see what we can do tomorrow. I'll do some research, see what the weather's gonna be like, and see where to go. I don't have the gas to drive all out here again. I used to sleep out here, but I'm not really prepared for that. I have no food. And, not the warm clothes that I need if I'm sleeping in the truck today. That wind is cold. Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow.